The final meeting of the Co-op Cross Country World Cup season took place in Lati, Finland. To coincide with the 100th anniversary of the Lati Ski Games, the oldest sporting event in Finland. Three days of intense competition kicked off with team sprint free relays with the women racing first. With many big names opting to miss this race to save themselves for what lay ahead over the weekend, Sweden with Emma Ribbon and Jonas Sundling were the red hot favourites. Norway won with Julie Meyer and Anne Calvin made most of the running but were unable to break away. And Sweden made the move on the final climb. And Sundling powering away to a comfortable victory in the end with Norway won in second and Germany won in third. So confirmation then of the final women team sprint free. Sweden won, Norway in second and Germany in third. Uh, yeah, it was a really fun racing today. I have been sick for a while, so it's uh, really fun to be out here again. Yeah, it's nice that she's back. I have missed her. <laughs> So congratulations to Sweden, to Emma Ribbon and Jonas Sundling on their victory. And so to the men on the last sprint free of their season. Johannes Kleibo and Eric Valnes, Norway won with the overwhelming favourites. But as usual, it was all very close as they came for the fourth exchange. Norway led the way. Could any of the chasers get up and over Klaibo? One man who wanted to have a go was Federico Pellegrino for Italy 1, but he didn't have enough in the tank and Klaibo could pull up short of the finish line to celebrate yet another victory for him. So confirmation of the men team sprint free. Norway beat Italy with Norway 2 in third. Congratulations to Eric Valnes and Johannes Kleibo on their victory. And so to the middle day of action and it was the 15th stop for the female sprinters as they raced a sprint classic to bring the curtain down on their season. Well, the final was dominated by Scandinavia with Norway having three athletes and Sweden three. Skistad led out and then tried to slow the place on the first climb. Sundling put in a burst to move clear, but Skistad responded and the two had to battle it out in the final straight for the victory. And it was Skistad who got up once again. A fourth straight win for Skistad. She certainly is the form sprinter at the back end of the season. Confirmation then, Ski Stads wins it from Sundling, who's to some way clear of Tiddelvang of Norway. Congratulations to Christine Ski Stad, who ends the season on a high. The final Sprint World Cup standings look like this. Dalquist gets up on the final day of the season to beat Nadine Fandre by just seven points. Real disappointment for the Swiss racer, but delight for Dalquist as she wins her second Sprint Globe. And so to the men and their 15th and final race of the season, a classic. It was a final dominated by Norway, who had five of the six athletes racing. Kelly Halverson was the only non-Norwegian. He set a good pace at the start, but Kleibo was there again. And a 40th career win for him over the short distance took him level with Malit Bjorgen, another Norwegian legend. So confirmation then that it was Kleibo from Halverson and Valnes in third. Congratulations to Johannes Kleibo. Yet another victory for him, the 10th of the season. In the Sprint World Cup standings, well, Kleibo takes it by 354 points from Shanavat with Norto in third, a fifth Sprint Glow for Clyde, his first since 2020. And so to the final day of action and a 20 kilometre mass start classic for both the men and women, with home fans hoping for a Finland victory. Up first, the women and their third mass start classic of the season on a tough five kilometre course with 772 metres of climbing. 
Kurti Niskanen, the distance standings leader, stayed out of trouble near the front and she knew bonus points at 7.5 kilometres and 12.5 and would be enough for her to secure the distance globe for the first time. She crossed both at the head of the field to secure the globe on the course, but up front, three months short of her 31st birthday and in her 31st and final individual race of the season, Noise and Calva claimed her first tour win, having never stepped on the podium before this season. Oh, it was amazing. I felt so good today and had amazing skis. So just had to believe in the process and, and give it all in the finish there. So it was amazing to finish first. And understandably delighted Anne Calva on the top step of the podium. In the overall World Cup standings, Till Veng takes it by 162 points from Jesse Diggins, Kurti Niskanen in third. 26 yards and secured her first globe and it was the overall. So into the men's race and Johannes Kleibo was looking for yet another record, chasing a 20th win of the season to equal the feat of today's Joho. William Paloma led at five kilometers and Paul Goldberg led through seven and a half to win the distance crystal globe. But from then on, it was all about Clybo. He took everybody by surprise, bursting clear at the end of the second lap, stretching the field and forcing the other racers to work hard to catch up. Finland's Ilivo Niskanen then led for much of the second half of the race, but Clybo was on his shoulder the whole way before turning on the afterburners on the final climb to take the win, his 10th distance win of the season to go with his 10 sprint wins. So final confirmation then of the 20 kilometer mass start classic. Clybo from Goldberg, Paloma in third. It feels amazing. Uh, so nothing that I have ever dreamt of about before the season started with uh, the injury and everything. So just super satisfied and really proud. A 10th distance win then for Clybo. Just a fantastic season for him. In the overall World Cup standing, Clybo takes it by 472 points from Goldberg. Pellegrino third, over a thousand points back. It's the fourth overall globe for Clybo, successfully defending the globe he won last season. Well, that's it from Lati in Finland, and that's it for the Cross Country World Cup for this season. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage, and we'll be back again in 2023-24.